dude, it's SC1. It's yeah, no, but not seven pounds of SC1. No, it's fine. It's I like cleaned it yesterday. It's gonna be a little bit slick. Well, guys, today's a big day. Uh, we're selling the pit bike. I don't know. Pit bikes kind of just suck, honestly. Sauron's just completely replaced the pit bikes, and pit bikes just aren't it anymore. I barely rode this thing before I even had the Sauron, just because, quite honestly, guys, I, I found out that I, I'm just not a pit bike guy. I, they're just uncomfortable to ride. I'm terrified to jump them for some reason, just because I feel so off balance in the air. Pit bike's just, ah, I don't know. It really is a great bike. It's 2022 CRF 110, and um, I don't need it anymore. It just sits in my garage, I swear. It was like this box right there. It was in this corner, and that box was sitting on top of it. That's how often I ride that thing. It's just like, it's, it's just collecting junk at this point. Guy's gonna be here, and I think like, five minutes we're gonna get this thing shipped off take all that money and go do something with it maybe go buy another dirt bike what's going on dude what's going on man so, how you doing right. just filming yeah just yeah. a little bit if you don't mind yeah i know this is it 2022 crf 110 it's brand new if you want to check it out i got uh two keys to it it is legit brand new it dude it is how many hours on this like none it might <laughs> how, how many hours do you think probably Total? like two three maybe yeah max. two, two. Shift up. It's brand new, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right to the back of your truck. You guys got it. Wrote it. Yeah, just read some SC1 on it. <laughs> he loves yeah. SC1. I told you, you gotta wipe it down. You can't just spray and leave it on. No more dirt bikes on the channel. My piece of shit. No. No, it wasn't a piece of shit. That guy got. Dude, robbed. that guy got. It's gonna blow up in no time. Dude, I forgot to put the oil back in. All right, guys, we're here at Interstate Cycle. This is our closest dealership that has a bunch of dirt bikes, four wheelers, side by side. So we're gonna go check it out. As you know, we just sold the pit bike, so we got a lot of cash now. And I think it's time to buy a new dirt bike. So let's uh, let's see what they got inside. Why are you going inside? Look at all the dirt bikes, the SSRs. Ooh, the electric bikes, bro. You think I need another one? Yeah, I think the Yamaha? For sure. I don't think I'm a side by side guy, bro. I don't think I could be a Miller Copley. <laughs> this is Miller. This actually would fit Miller a lot better. Look how small it is. <laughs> it fit him just right. 21,000 for this? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Maybe a four wheeler? Could you guys see it? Could I, should I switch over to a four wheeler? I naturally became able to go, woo! Are you feeling the buddy vibes already? I'm feeling the buddy vibes. The buddy. Oh, dude, it comes with the winch. You're good to go, Junior. You get stuck. Yeah. When Polaris puts that on. You say no. These things you're gonna get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Polaris. Make sure you get the added. Oh, that's the Miller Mobile right there. <laughs> the Miller Mobile. Did you guys sell the other dirt bike here yesterday? Sure did. Sold it about twenty minutes ago. Well, 20 minutes ago? What, what did he buy? What was it? It was a YZ250F 20. Oh, that's right? unfortunate. Same thing as this or no? Yep, but just the blue one. Did he buy started. tools with it? Huh? Did he buy some tools <laughs> with it? How much is this one? Probably Rough estimate. I don't need it. Exact Ten nine. price. Oh, probably somewhere around there out the door. Like yeah. Something. How about cash? <laughs> Give it a pun. Though, how okay. This thing's sexy, bro. Yeah, if we're, do you, do, if we're, do you think I'm Danger Boy? If we're fucking Danger Boy on a Danger Boy D? Yeah. I don't know. You guys don't have any Hondas, do you? No, I sold the used one. We came to a Yamaha. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe they had some used one. Dude, that thing's okay. huge, bro. I don't know why, but this looks kind of sick. It does look sick. Like, definitely would not buy it, but <laughs> it's the Wolverine. They don't even put a tag on it because it's too expensive. Which they even give you a bed so you can fill up the tools. This is what, uh, Sea boys have, right? Yeah. Yeah. Miller would know. <laughs> we are shitting on Miller right now. <laughs> Every player says it. 40 grand? Look, the, every, everyone, they give you a little space. Put your toolbox in. Put your tools in. Dude, yeah. this guy, this guy only likes Hondas, apparently. No, I just hate no. how everyone gets a large boner when they hear about a Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha's are sick, dude. Every guy that rides dirt bikes are like, I need that star power, that 250 Yamaha power, and they literally race fucking c -Cloth. Do you think if I got a Yamaha, it'd help me go from D to C? No, you'd just be a spode with the Monster Energy Yamaha, like they all are. With the Monster Energy sticker? <laughs> 
I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I, I was hoping they had a lot more dirt bike options, but they just don't. Maybe we go look outside of the pit bikes. It looks like my only option is to buy another pit bike. They only got a uh, one dirt bike option in there. <laughs> so I'm either buying a street bike or I'm going home with the Yamaha. Maybe. I don't know. Or uh, you buy a fucking KO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, K Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, uh, yeah. Hey, you don't get a 250, you don't get a 125. If you're not riding a Kyle, you get a Kyle 230. That's bro, if I pulled up to the track in the Kyle, honestly, bro, at this point, it looks like my best option is this guy right here. Yeah? How do I look? Just right. I mean, it goes as fast as you did. You think if I got track. a custom graphic kit, it'd look better? So, Christian's. Nervous to hit that double. You you will, I promise you, any speed you're probably thinking about hitting it, you will over jump it. Like, in all honesty, probably the easiest thing to do is to find a spot for him. To hold it wide open. I'll just hold it wide but open. But don't, don't pull up. Oh, he came up a little short. You kind of have to a little bit pull up, just a little bit. Where are you taking it? How am I supposed to help? Here, you're in. I bent the shock. <laughs> this, I Where broke at? the shock. Where? It's bent. Look at it. Oh, bro. No, you cracked it. What? You broke it in half. <laughs> you broke it in half. Oh. <laughs> Golly, all right. Well, that was a road gap. What happened? This shitty part that comes on them, I was absolutely throwing that thing around and it snapped from like, it, you know, goes in right there. Yeah. Just. Snapped your it. Real but linkage to your shot? That's not the issue. This What's is What's the issue? It's a little bit crooked. Yeah. Yeah, we bet. Yeah. Your shit's clapped, homie. My shit's clean, dog. You should see the new graphics I got on the way too. My graphics are about to go harder, I'm just yeah. saying. He he decided to go with another company for his graphics. I went with the company that I always go with, uh Total Performance Graphics, so they've always hooked me. Okay, all right, look, we're gonna see his graphics come out sicker, but uh, I think I got him here. I Here, Mo's been starting this thing. He started this thing where he started ordering stuff for his Suron, and then I'd be like, yo, dude, what'd you order? And he doesn't tell me. He's like, oh, you just gotta wait and see, and he like hypes it up, hypes it up, hypes it up. So last time he did that, he surprised me with Supermoto tires. So I don't tell him anymore what I'm ordering or what I got coming in, and I got a lot of stuff coming in for the Suron. No, but uh, I'm gonna go grab the box out of my car because I got a couple of parts I'm oh, gonna show you. I got a box full of parts. Yep. I need you to turn the camera to yourself. Yep. And then I'm gonna get your reaction. Yep. And then you're gonna turn and show the part, okay? Yep. Coming in at number one. Had to go with the grips. What? I needed grips. Why do you why? Why is that your face? Why is that your face? Why did you buy black grips? It's like, gonna go well with my graphic kit. So your graphic kit's black. Come on. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got, we got the we got the grips. The thing is, why, when Christian buys things, it's always kind of goon. What is it? It's, <laughs> it's grip wire. So our grips will stop I falling. have them. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I tried calling you four times. We got more it, stuff. Oh, shit. I knew you were going to get I one. I needed this. That's fire. That's gas. Is that goon too or no? No, that's not goon. That's not goon? No, it's not. Direct stem. Mount. Riser. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you looking? Bro. bro? You ready? Oh, <laughs> shit. No way. That's sick, bro. Just look. <laughs> no way. You brought us, you bought us rocket. 58. 58? 58. Well, Bro, you're gonna, your top speed's gonna be 15. That was the next size up. I went 54. This, he goes, I have a 54 two sprocket. He goes, I got a one up you. Goes to a 58. That's not one. One up would have been, uh, They 56. didn't make a 56. Yes, they do. Oh, shit. Well, I got a 58. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. why, do you, why are you closing your eyes? It adds to the, the. Open. No way! Hard! That's, hey, yes, no. <laughs> That's the sickest thing I got. And like, it's good quality too. Yo, it's they didn't even sponsor this. I'm just like promoting them just because I like the product. Out with the old, oh, and with the new. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> what the <laughs> happened, dude? This, 
working on the Sauron, you know? Uh, I'm sitting over there. I <laughs> hear, douche. Bro, I literally went to sit down to fucking try to get the chain off, and all of a sudden it fell. I just heard a big balloon. You damaged my floor. You put a nice little dent in it. Dude, this bike's coming out so sick, and we just added a couple minor things that was really needed. Yeah, Cole and I were talking about this the other day. We waited so freaking long to do, like... That's the most necessary items that we needed possible. All the new or like soon to be Suron owners out there, like if you're gonna if you're gonna buy, like if you want to know our recommendation on stuff, the pegs first and foremost are so ass on the stock, uh, on the Suron. They're so ass. Um, the grips are slippery as hell, so you either get some uh, grip glue or wire or something like that. And then also, uh, what else? Oh, the brake pads suck. But we ended up upgrading to the Shimano something brake pads. These guys right here, and they have this little like fin technology thing that I guess allows airflow through here and it cycles down there. This thing is sick. It's, it's going to be perfect just to throw my phone in there and like wallet, whatever else I need. And then bro, check out that sprocket. 58 tooth, negative top end power. But we're going to have so much torque, I'm not even going to know what to do with it. So that's going to be gnarly. I can't wait to go try that out. But as you can tell, it's dark outside. So we're going to have to cut it to uh, another day to ride. All right guys, so it's the next day, but now that we got everything ready to roll and we can see, I wanna take this thing for a ride. I really want you to ride it because Mo has the 54 tooth on his. So I'm curious to see what uh, what he thinks because you know, his bike already as is with the 54 can literally roll the throttle and it'll stand right up. This one's bound to do that and more. Oh yeah, there you go Mo. My forks are clapped. Dude, look how low they are. <laughs> We pump How them up they every come back ride. Up. If anybody's watching this that can send me out forks, please do. Whoa! Like, can you tell a difference or no? Yeah, I, I mean, it's hard to tell four teeth, you know? I don't want my phone to fall out, so I'm gonna throw it in my fanny pack. Oh, no. <laughs> You're just jealous yeah. that you yeah. don't have yeah. one. I'm still stuck at wheeling. <laughs> I really thought this thing was gonna save me. When did you get the low rider edition? All right, boys, let's uh, let's feel this thing out a little bit. Look how sick this fanny pack is, dude. Looks so clean. How are you the one getting compliments on your bike, <laughs> and I'm not getting anything on mine? You definitely feel a major difference in the. Uh, in the top end power like if you start getting up higher in the speeds and stuff like that like it just dies i'll tell you one thing though these pegs bro are like stabbing through my shoes like i mean i guess it's kind of a good thing they're you know doing their job but like look how low the freaking thing is down there it's like they don't hold air like a little stair sash Front forks gone. I'm probably just bottoming. You gotta buy forks. I give up. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. Open this thing. Oh god. Oh, you're not even using your cut lines. Nope. Look how easy that was. Come on, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bet what do you think? Are you worked out? <laughs> guys it's been a couple days since i did the unboxing on the bike i couldn't ride it that day so uh we got it out today and we're gonna take it for a little test ride see how she performs but quite honestly guys i cole and i were just talking about it i think this is the nicest pedal bike i've gotten yet this bike right here from hovsco is the hov alpha 26 inch 
electric fat tire bike. Now, a couple things that stand out to me on this bike already that I really, really like is gonna be the suspension in the front and it's adjustable, which is really nice. That way you can adjust it to, you know, your weight, height, whatever. The battery right here is not an internal battery. You can actually take it out with this key. As you can see where it's black, that's actually the battery. Plugs in right here down at the bottom. And on a full charge, you can get up to an 80 mile range. And the battery inside this bike is a 960 watt hour battery. Also power in this thing is a 750 watt brushless gear gear hub motor. It's got a super sleek display with your LCD screen right here. It's kind of hard to see because we're in the light. The grips and the brakes work really well on this and the seat is super comfortable. It says you can get it up to about 15.5 miles an hour, but I feel like I've gotten it up faster than that. Now you do have a throttle right here. It also has a smart sense pedal assist technology, which is really cool. So like, you know, as you're pedaling, it kind of engages the motor. So it helps you makes pedaling so much easier. Let's take it for a ride. All right, guys, I had to take this thing on a bike ride just to get a better feel for it and show you guys what this thing's actually capable of. I mean, it's actually really cool. As you can see right here look i'm just casually pedaling it's like a smart torque technology what i was telling you guys about earlier it's kind of like a pedal assist type thing based on how much i'm pedaling that's how much torque it add to the bike like look it's matching the amount of torque that i'm putting out pedaling dude look how pretty it is the leaves are starting to change too fall falls here it's nice and cool outside you can go all the way down to level zero and that's basically where it's just like your typical pedal bike as you can hear, I'm kind of breathing heavy uh, because it's not helping me out at all. You have your display here and you have your mode changers right here. If you tap the plus button, it'll put it in level one. You're paddling and it's adding just a little bit, like just enough where like if you just need a little extra boost, like it's got you, but it's nothing major. Okay, we're in level two right now, paddling, paddling, paddling. And I can definitely tell a difference from level one to level two. Let's bump it up three, paddling, paddling, paddling. Okay, yeah, that's a big difference. From level one to three, it really does help you out a lot. Let's go over here in this grass field. Okay, let's crank it up to level four because I'm already getting tighter pedaling. This is exactly why electric bikes are the way to go. Dude, the brakes work so good on this thing. And honestly, I love the, the grips and everything like that. So let's go from a dig, okay? Pedal, pedal, pedal. Okay, yeah, level four. That's nice. Crank it up to level five. The LCD display is so nice. All right, let's see what we got. From a dig, level five. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Oh, it like kicks in instantly. Holy cow. That was 20 like that. Bro, I love drifting this thing. Just lock up that back brake and then just slide. Look, it's a little slick right here. You ready? Look how slick this bridge is about to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew it was going to be super slick. <laughs> I about ate it there. Right, let's see the throttle mode going up the hill. Okay, that's only throttle. And look, we're on a really steep incline right here, and it's pulling me up no problem. We're in level five. I want to just try the pedal assist and see how that does climbing the hill. Okay, come on. All right, there we go. Dude, I'm barely even putting in any effort. That's lit. Oh gosh, I'm about ran right into that thing. I was not looking at, I was lo not looking ahead of me. I was looking straight down. Yeah, pedaling makes it a breeze with these, uh, with these different levels. Oh, well, I'm at 17 miles an hour. 18. No, that's 20. See if the brakes work. Stop on a dime, eh? Did I leave a mark? <gasps> I left some mark on the road. Right, let me do it. You want to go? Yeah, I want to do it. it it's pretty sick. This is basically what my surround feels like. Look at that line I just left. The neighborhood doesn't get mad about that one. Like whenever you're just using the throttle, you can actually get it up pretty fast. They say 15, but I swear, I just got it up to like 23. This is the most comfortable fat tire like cruiser I've ever ridden. For like a family bike, or you just like want to go on a nice bike ride, like oh, 100%, that's the one to go with. <laughs> Yo, you left a line, son. Dude, I mean, if we measure that thing out, that's like 50 feet right there. I don't even know how fast he was going, but he was pedaling and using the throttle, so he must have been going pretty fast. Oh, he's got some speed, boys. Nice. Oh, that one was longer. Look at that. What do you think? See how the brakes work great. Brakes do work great. And look, we didn't even mess up the tire that bad. I'm gonna blow my nose. <laughs> yeah, the brakes work great. Uh, so guys, what he was trying to say there, if you're looking to pick up one of these Hobsco, the 26 inch fat tire e-bikes, the one, the exact one that I have, I'm going to have it linked down below. First link in the description. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking, that's something I do. 
I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do. Throw out in a tractor. Did you just call that a tractor? Uh, Gosh damn it, Mo. I mean, Christian rides a Suron literally like this. Bars are turned, he's like, I don't know why it's not straight. Look at this, bro. The steering's straight. Look at the right front. No wonder your grass is fucked up. Your dad's going down the thing going left and he thinks he's going straight. He's like, mm. it's gonna take him fucking forever to figure out how to start this lawnmower. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're gonna break our only way of cutting grass. Okay? We don't we don't have people to cut our grass like like you do. Okay, it's breaking. It's you're gonna flood it. You're done. I'm disconnecting the battery. Stop.